Hey guys, Borges did here. Sorry about the lack of video updates. I was on a holiday last week, uh, hence why. And also last week I turned 28, so now I'm getting ever closer to 30, and it's getting a bit scary. <laughs> but uh, never mind. I'm also, as you can hopefully tell, using a new camera. It's on the Sony Xperia Play, and the phone itself is lovely, so I hope the camera's lovely. But anyway, I'm here to review Transformers, not cameras and phones. So today I thought I'd review this guy, Generations Warpath. There's been a lot of Warpath love in the past couple of years. We've seen a Legends figure of him, we've seen him in the War for Cybertron video game, and now we have this lovely deluxe representation of him from the Generations line. Uh, the colour scheme in this guy is excellent. The red is more akin to his original Generation 1 mini bot figure. And it goes lovely with the greys, the smoky grey and the blacks on the figure as well as the little touch of gold he has there. It's excellently done and brings out the detailing on the plastics, which probably won't show up too well on the camera. Uh, detailing on the face is excellent. He has pretty much Warpath. He certainly looks a lot more serious than he has in previous incarnations and I think that's a good thing because the guy's a tank he should be quite serious, he shouldn't be all kapow and zowie and zap and woo he's a tank for god's sakes posability wise on the guy eh, uh, plenty you've got the arms that go all the way around and you've got the swivel on the elbow joint on the legs, you've got the ball joint at the top and you've also got the swivel and bend on the legs plenty of posability there, the limitations on the posability are his fists and his feet, but that's due to transformation process. So you know it's not a big deal, you're still getting plenty there on the posability issue. Complaints wise that I've seen is the size of the missile. A lot of people complain about this, but it has to be this size for child safety toy laws. So I mean you can easily, you know, cut it with a exacto knife or pair of scissors. But you know, it's not a big deal to myself, so I've just left it as is. Uh, the only bad thing I can say about him is he's quite skinny for a deluxe figure but he more than makes up for it in his alt mode, his H tank which I'm going to show you just now. And here he is in his H tank mode given that name because when you look above he looks like an H. The colour scheme again on the H tank is fantastic, it goes really well. Uh, just looks really good. You've got you know his missile launcher and his little machine gun thing at the side here. Fold out to look a little bit more menacing in the tank mode. Although I think they do look uh, quite cool. Like that. The main uh, body of the tank, you know, it spins round just like a real tank would, and of course the turret goes up and down very easily. It's an excellent alt mode and as I say it makes him look a lot more chunky than he is which is good because he is a tank. The Overall the, the entire figure has been brilliantly designed. I mean they really went all out with this because I think all the designers thought that was got to be the last uh, generations set of figures that were coming out. I think it's just excellently done and he's definitely worth a buy. I would like to mention the lettering there. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's supposed to say Kapawi and Zawi in reference to what his character used to say in the cartoon. Overall, should you buy this guy? I think you should. I think he's an excellent addition to the line itself. And he's definitely worth picking up. I do believe he will be getting re-released at a later date this year. But if you can get him now and get him at a reasonable price, then pick him up because he is excellent. I'd give this guy 10 out of 10.